On the last episode, we showed you how to cast a hard urethane part in a silicone mold. Now today we're going to take those same parts and we're going to fill in the, the etched letters using paint. This technique will work for any sort of engraving, as long as it's not in a porous surface. So if you're going to do an engraving in wood, you'd probably want to seal it before trying something like this because the paint could just kind of wick into the wood. The things we're going to need to fill in the little engravings, or in this case they're just molded letters, is a acrylic paint marker. So this one's from Mitsubishi, and it's this cool neon green color. And you're going to need some sort of abrasive. So I like to use an abrasive wheel on a bench mounted polisher, but you could use a little abrasive wheel on a Dremel or um, just sandpaper, just really fine high grit, something like a 400 grit to remove that paint. So what we'll do here is we'll shake up our paint marker here and we're just going to go ahead and fill in the letters on these little screwdriver handles and if your marker is not running good you can just kind of press the tip to get it flowing good there and we'll just kind of run through these and fill them in you want to fill them in nice and good use a bunch of paint it doesn't matter too much if you get a little extra on there and also just watch for bubbles. You don't really want to get any bubbles in your little engraving. And then once you've got them all filled in with the paint, we're just going to let that paint dry. I'm going to give it about an hour. It'll probably be dry quicker, but if it's nice and thick, you just want to make sure it's not wet underneath there. Now that the acrylic paint is dry, I've come out here to my buffing wheel that I've put an abrasive scuff pad on. Um, the other side, I've just got a, a wire wheel on, which that's not going to be relevant here. And the reason I like to use this larger diameter is it just doesn't get down into the letters as bad as when you use a really small diameter like on a Dremel tool. But it's not to be said that you can't do it with a Dremel tool. So what I'll do is I'll just take this and I'll just run it real quick like that. And that's really about it to take the paint off the top. And I like to do this once the paint's dried. If you were to try to do something like paint it and wipe it, it'll just wipe too much out of the letters. But if you wait till the paint has dried, you can kind of just trim that surface right off. The paint comes off a lot easier than it would take to actually dig into the actual um, urethane here. And these scuff pads, they're, they're kind of like a what's on the end of an abrasive sponge that you would use when you're cleaning the dishes. So they're just not that aggressive. You can get different colors, um, like a white one would be even less aggressive yet. So you could consider that. If you see any like dull spots from the scuff pad, once you kind of wash it under some water, it should pretty much take those off. And again, like I said, you can use the white pads and it'll actually more shine it than it will actually dull it. Hopefully this works out for you. Um, I know I recognize that sometimes this tool might not be usable in your application, but this technique is pretty much universal. So like what I would do if this was a flat thing is I would use a, um, a sander, which I don't have one right here, but just a little orbital sander with some really, really high grit paper, like 400 plus, and then just sand it off and it would actually be even easier than what I'm doing here. I just can't use that because of the contours of my piece. You can pick up these bench top buffers really cheap. This one's from 
Harbor Freight. You can get them on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for one of these if this is something that you want to do. And if you like these kinds of how-to videos and you want to see more, be sure to click the little subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.